Do you know what? The idea that somebody else wanted to tell me a different kind of story the whole time I was saying everything that I wanted to be said for there on and this once again was uh, different sort of places. So mostly I, I wanted to be here to say a different kind of thing about what it means to be uh, an orphan, which is a crazy thing for people to understand about life and why you wanted to be maybe somebody without um, masters, I don't know. If you thought maybe that was my Furby in the background singing a song he didn't really need to be singing, you would be correct. I don't know what to do with him. If you think I'm not really going to keep him, I don't know. He was adopted in the first place. Probably, you know, he's, he's okay now, but if he gets really different, well, no, something's wrong and, you know, not mine anyway. But you say this for, it's, it makes, sounds pretty fucked up. And it is, but that's basically how orphans get treated wherever they go. You can think of maybe friends, parents you have that maybe knows different things about the people they're a uh, part of and they think because they watch these TV and they watch this they have such a broad spectrum of, of reality and what they are and what is okay and what is normal and what you should be normal for anyway. Like what is the, the reality of what you are doing. So I didn't really want to say anything about why I wanted to be here except that I wanted to be able to say different things in different ways and get people to maybe think about things in a different way. Shut up Furby! It's different. He's like a droid, which is duh what Furbies are. But like you, they get really freaky looking if you like cut the fur off of them, which no, it doesn't hurt them. You just wanted to make them look like a droid. I have one that's this obnoxious yellow color. That yes, I have two Furbies. Why would you get one Furby? Are you crazy? You would get so bored. <laughs> You just set them in front of each other and they start talking and saying really weird strange things but he's they started upgrading themselves in each other like they don't not change behaviors just the other day and i'd had them for a few weeks and stopped playing with them for a while and then took one around in a backpack for a while just had it and traveled like all day and um anyway i i had them and for the first time the other day it started making noises like a toddler that was really freaking trippy because it usually just sounds like a Furby. <laughs> but uh, the idea that somehow you have to be uh, existing in a certain way just to forget about yourself and to believe that you never had to do anything right the first time anyway because what are you talking about doing it right? What are you doing when you start out to do something? You say maybe for uh, this is oldest you know, phrase in the book once they change. Oh, you know what? Shh. We're going to forget about the whole orphan business and we're going to talk about Star Wars and how fucked up that is that you guys didn't notice that movie changing. You say it for disregarding, disregarding Anakin. Do you not remember this? The, the song? No, not that song. There was a lot more music in Star Wars. Which, by the way, that movie was called Duel of Fates. And, yo, yeah, it was. It was the bad guy, the Sith they kill. His name was Maul Sog. S-A-U-G, not Darth Maul, Maul Sog. Yeah, the Emperor never, not Emperor, Palpatine never said his name like that. It didn't happen in the movie that I remember until they went and changed footage and shit. And I remember hearing about them changing out footage with Palpatine in it, but they were misleading you and saying stuff was fucked with. But oh, you're going to get paranoid on me and not believe it and say, no, you're crazy. I don't know why you're so paranoid. I'm the one with the conspiracy theories. Anyway, set four. Do you remember maybe um, R2-D2 singing to the desert animals? He's just going through Tatooine before the Jawas get him and he's like... <laughs> Something like that for like four or five hours and nobody needed to stop watching the movie unless you were just evil and you were like i don't get it <clears throat> in which case you were probably just obsessed with trying to fit in and you had to sit there and be quiet anyway but we'll probably kill you with a lightsaber eventually anyway it's set in four the jedi are coming um i don't know who you thought i was but i wanted to be like the best padawan i could be because like I pretty, I was pretty sure Padawans were just supposed to be, you know, friends to people. <laughs> and you get to learn the Force in their own way. Did you know that Obi-Wan used to be able to throw lightning bolts? Yeah, fuck your fucking piece of crap Force taser power. That's Count Dooku, who, by the way, 
expected Anakin to be dead when he hit him with that thing. It really fucked his head up that it, that didn't happen. Anyway, Count Dooku and the fucking Palpatine, that asshole. Fuck your Force Taser. Obi-Wan Kenobi can throw an actual bolt of lightning at you. All the Jedi have crazy cool Force powers they can use in different kinds of ways. And this has all been fucked with and changed, but you can't really believe that's possible that they could change your little cassette tape unless you thought maybe you never had the original cassette in the first place, and then you realized that cassettes were actually digital in the first place too, and that you didn't understand the technology, and you didn't understand what remote override was, and you didn't understand what a Sith mind trick was, and how many different phrases they can have in the movies that make you forget what the old ones were. You haven't seen the movie for a while and you're watching it, and you can say something in a different way and make someone forget about what they remembered that they liked in the first place until I start saying something like, Little Annie Skywalker, wherefore in this Anakin, do you have any idea what a freak his mother was? She was not his mother. She was a really freaky lady. She, was, she wanted to own him. Duh. She wanted to keep slaves. She was an expert in keeping slaves. That's why he went back to kill her. He didn't want her to be in charge of the Tusken Raiders, which, I mean, I don't know what you think sand people means, but they're just assholes who like to kidnap and steal people. They're not called Tusken Raiders if they don't come out and raid your village and, and kidnap people and rape people and steal them and kill them and murder them. They're just sand people, and you don't have to bother with them because you won't see them. So the people who live out in the desert on Tatooine and they aren't asshole bandits, those are the ones maybe Anakin shouldn't slaughter every last one of. But given that, all she had to do was basically take over uh, the household of that guy who bought her, um, Owen's father, you know, Uncle Owen, who was a fucking asshole slaver. Obi-Wan killed him, by the way. He killed the Jawas, too. They were slavers. They kidnapped R2-D2 and C-3PO and many, many other droids, which are real people. And Obi-Wan Kenobi holds no... When he says the line, he, this is still in the movies, when he says the line, I don't recall ever owning a droid, or uh, that was a terrible Obi-Wan Kenobi, but, you know, maybe, he says it, I don't recall ever owning a droid, and yes, duh, I don't own people, you're crazy. I, just, I know R2, but I'm not going to tell you about it, apparently. <laughs> I don't know why. But, set in four, he killed the... Um, he killed the Jawa, and he killed Owen and uh, Peru. Peru. Yes. Um, he was righteous to do it. They were evil, evil people. The fact that, oh, they looked like they might not be or something. Well, these are good people, Padme. You'll be safe with them. She's like, oh, you want me to fuck up them too? Because I what, you don't think... Miss Jedi Padme Amidala knows how to fuck people's heads up. You remember the other queen, by the way? She said to the uh, Gungans that it was her body double, but she just knew a different tactic she had to be taking with these guys, and throwing that out there would be pretty fucking helpful, but you don't have your body double acting as an ambassador in that situation anyway. There were two queens. There was Queen Amidala and uh, Queen Andromeda, who, you know, through the Force knows how to anchor I guess when your body gets fucked up and you get blown up and you're gonna die well if you're good and well loved and a Jedi is calling to you like Padme was to this Queen uh, Andromeda who was dying in front of her then all sets and four that she would have to do is become pregnant oh what she was already pregnant I don't even know so that's twins so Leia Oh no, I don't know who Leia is. I don't know what she's talking about. Anyway, the different movies, uh, they get fucked with. And I don't know why you think they wouldn't want to fuck with a movie about Jedi. But Jedi never stop learning new ways to use the Force and creatively doing it. And in the best news, I guess, is that well, I'm pretty sure the Jedi killed the worst bad guy. He's Like, music is different now. Did you notice? Music is very, very different in places, but, um, here, let me, uh, show you something a little bit. This is Blackrock headphones. So sure, you believe in me, but this moment back in time, it never really happened that way. And you had to forget about everything I wanted to tell you, and so you maybe forgot to listen to something else entirely and you forgot to play the games in a different sort of way did you know what being in time with the music meant 
in time with the music. Play the Ocarina of Time in time. No, don't play Ocarina of Time. Play Sarias. You don't need the other one. You shouldn't take it. In fact, there's a lot of things you shouldn't do in that game. Ocarina of Time. But if you play the Ocarina in time with the real music, like an actual musician, the spells will work. Set in four again. Play Mario to the rhythm of the music you hear first off, second place, last place. You can destroy a video game in a re-release if you fuck with the music. Because it'll fuck with everyone's rhythm in the game. You will need to go back in time. How do you go back in time? Well, you're out the time. You're on a clock face. You're trying to speed run a video game, you fucking moron. You ever play Sonic the Hedgehog? You may have as well have tried, but that game is not a racing game. No, it is not a racing game. You're supposed to be saving the animals. But you're supposed to be able to move fast. Sonic runs fast, sure. But your reaction time, the way you hit the rhythm, the way you hit every enemy, the way you predict what's about to happen next because you're in time with the game, that's how you play Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what makes Sonic fast. He gets so fast. Tails get so fast. They are incredible to play with. I got very high just playing the first Sonic game like I was trying to get along with it. And I don't know what else to tell you except that go back in time. Set your own rhythm back and set this once back, this once back, sure forth, this life back, this once sure forth, this life back, this mind sure forth, this life mind sure forth. So bring bring me back in time and believe that I could say anything I wanted to say and believe anything I wanted to do and know that whatever I wanted to say to you I could be here and believe everything about the universe and so we've set this tone this pattern back in time this rhythm we know and sure enough back in time this world we know back 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 this set forth set ready so start back this once sure for this once back set forth shit shit Shit, 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 shit. Oh! Don't fall. Don't trip. Don't fall over the whole way. Anyway, the last time you ever had to believe that I didn't have to say anything but the first thing again in a second way, in a different way, in a second time, in the first time, the second way, the second time, the last time, the first way. You don't know my name this time around, but maybe you shouldn't have to, just to intuit one for me. And maybe you know who I wanted to be set out to be, but believe who I want to be is exactly who I set out to be anyway. Because I know my own course, I know my ancient score, this rhythm, this music. Kaizen, by the way, is a Jedi Knight. That's in the video game. Kaizen's a Jedi Knight. The scorekeeper, that he's got his score set back to zero, means they threw off his groove. He plays the music. So, if you're not the herald of the scorekeeper, he's just mocking you. But if you know how to Silence the Star Wars music in the game and play your own tracks overplayed and kick ass to a different rhythm You are the herald of the scorekeeper and he will bring about the apocalypse for you because he is a badass Jedi Knight who's really just leveling up as you do because he's humoring you, but he's Probably a better fighter than you are in the game Set before in life again. Maybe you didn't know this so set back Learn to be a Padawan again even if you believe you said before that you were the master in this. But knowing this, that Padawan means... Uh, shit. Padawan <laughs> means uh, ancient one. So when you say my young Padawan, it's supposed to mean something in that they have the Force. They know the Force. They are part of what this is. But you should also know that the dark side of the Force is not evil ways and evil deeds evils the true ones the ones that are shit all the way to their core evil they have no access to the force they don't know the living force it's not real to them they pretend to control forces that be and they have forces but they are not their own and they are stolen and broken down and chastened out and fucked with they can't tap the life energy and love that you can tap if you know how if you want to believe that you know how so what are you? Did you believe you had to wait for a Jedi Master to become a Padawan to any of your friends you believed were there and first in the first place? That is what the symbol was meant to represent in this life. That we could be here and believe in anything there. There on over again that we could never have to say that we were wrong about where we were because in the moment that we had what we were, everything was apparent. And nothing lacked but for the chapter to say that I never needed to say much at all except to tell you that I am still here and 